851, turn right, heading 180. The A380 versus the A380 Plus. What exactly is the difference? Hey everyone, welcome to DJ's Aviation. In today's video, I'll attempt to answer that very question with you all. The A380 is the world's largest passenger plane and currently operates with a number of influential airlines. Its four engines and full double-decker nature has allowed it to stand out at any airport, and in the coming years Airbus hopes to put forward a new Airbus A380, titled the A380+. Plus. This should entice existing customers and potentially new ones to place orders. Airbus figures that the growth the industry will face will result in the A380 being required on multiple routes to help it cope with industry demand, rather than having, let's say, the 777 operate on it. Their new A380 Plus will hopefully be the answer to all the concerns outlined by customers for the original A380. But what's different about it? What truly makes it stand out from the crowd? The current A380 can hold hundreds of passengers and doesn't earn the title of the world's largest passenger plane for nothing. Its two full decks mean airlines can not only carry a huge number of passengers, but it can also allow them to expand on their overall product that they offer. This is where we see premium airlines fight for accolades and customers with their first class suites, apartments, business classes and more. The first notable difference found on the Airbus A380 will be the split wingtip. While the current A380 has, you could say, a wingtip, it does not extend to that on the A380+. Plus. These wingtips will offer airlines 4% better fuel economy than the current A380. In fact, measuring higher than the bottom part, the winglet will reduce drag, with efficiency being of paramount importance in today's market. By Airbus improving the efficiency, it actually may potentially lead airlines to placing orders. But before we jump to any conclusion, let's continue to outline all the differences and the improvements. John Leahy, the Airbus COO of customers, stated the A380 Plus is an efficient way to offer even better economics and improved operational performance at the same time, which is what a lot of airlines have been asking for. Improvements inside the cabin will allow the A380 Plus to carry an additional 80 passengers or have an increased range of an estimated 300 nautical miles. This can benefit airlines in multiple ways, as some may want the A380 for capacity purposes, or they may eye it as a perfect long-range aircraft, with the capacity coming as an added bonus. Alternatively though, airlines could configure one to have the added range, and the other to have the increased capacity. This is achieved through the adjustment of various features on the inside, like the stairs leading up to the top deck of the aircraft. Will there be any more changes? Yep, it doesn't end there. The A380 Plus will have an increased maximum takeoff weight, or MTOW, of 578 tonnes. This is an increase of just 3 tonnes from the current maximum takeoff weight found on the A380. This is how the additional capacity of 80 passengers or range will be achieved. Airbus will also offer an 11 abreast economy configuration, that is 353. Configurations are often a heated topic as many have their own ideal configuration, and an 11 abreast A380 may certainly not be for everyone. However, on a strictly revenue side, the added capacity from economy alone will increase the revenue for airlines, acting as a benefit over the current A380. Additionally, there is an option to increase the premium economy zone to a 9 abreast. However, I believe this should be avoided to really keep with premium economy being a worthy upgrade on economy. In saying that, it could actually be a tactical option. Making it a 9 abreast could potentially allow more customers in premium economy who moved from the cramped economy. In turn, revenue will increase even more for an airline as they can fit more seats on board. Of course, an airline wanting the A380 Plus would need to know that it would be a worthy investment, so filling it up might be of paramount importance rather than bringing cargo underneath. In addition, Airbus claims their state-of-the-art A380 Plus will offer a 13% reduction in operating costs compared to their current A380. This price reduction in operating costs will, as Airbus says, catch the eye of many airlines. However, the A380 and A380 Plus both have heavy price tags, and this is where there is no difference. While being a lot of aircraft, the price can often drive away many airlines, as it is simply out of reach for them. They in turn opt for the cheaper 787, which it's still expensive to me and you, but it's far more affordable for an airline like American Airlines, for instance. 
This is where the two aircraft share a similarity. The reduction in operating costs though will further help airlines who use the A380 Plus into slot restricted airports. After all, this is what Airbus have attempted to develop the A380 into being. The perfect solution to airlines wanting to offer capacity into slot restricted airports. For instance, London Heathrow or airports throughout China. The added capacity found on the Plus will mean airlines operating in it can thrive and earn more revenue from every single flight. Essentially, if for example, Etihad Airways chose to add more of their residents' apartments, they would earn tens of thousands a day extra that they wouldn't have received on their standard A380s. This, in turn, with the lower operating costs, would benefit them. It highlights how the profit per sale becomes quite the important consideration with airlines wishing to operate the aircraft, as capacity, while being a critical part, may not be as crucial for some airlines. As mentioned, there is improved efficiency and lower operating costs. But how is this achieved? It's partially achieved through the longer time period before a required maintenance, which is perfect as it doesn't shake up operations too much within an airline. What else though? While well, the A380 Plus will offer airlines a lot more wiggle room than currently found on the A380, and that's saying something. The A380 has been known as being almost a blank canvas for cabin designers. With it being so large, it's allowed designers to create state-of-the-art cabins, which have won numerous awards. These cabins are recognised across the globe for being some of the best in the world, and this simply wouldn't be possible on another aircraft like the A330neo, as airlines still need to make money and can't fit it out in an all-premium economy configuration. The A380 Plus will afford airlines even more customization with the likes of economy capacity, location of stairs, and where their premium cabins will be offered. The A380 Plus was announced in 2017 and is yet to receive any orders, but as discussed in this video, it offers many upgrades to its older, classic A380, currently gracing our skies. Do you believe the A380 Plus will eventually take off? Let me know in the comment section below. Once again, I'd like to thank you very much for your support, and I do look forward to you all joining me in the next one. Race all of these broken dreams in flight, and we'll fly.